And you're definitely not lacking damage when you have a Graves, a Swain, and a Sivir in the mid, uh, in this three-man trio pair. So, do quite like this damage because you nailed it in one. The Graves Thunderlord, it's a little bit of extra burst available. Nuke Tuck actually does apply Grievous Wounds, which is a very valuable thing as a TP comes in the top lane. They're going for Sproddle and Rollis. That's gonna be the Karma E popped. Inspired! By it, they get themselves away, dodging away for most of the CC, but will it be enough? No! First blood over to police, looking for Sproddle, and it's Cabo. With Steven Gillius doing it, no response since they hopped right over the wall. So Vitality might have gotten themselves too. Uh, could look to try and turn this one around, or at the very least just defend his turret. But Vitality, they want to exchange, and I think they're going to get the exchange. Yeah, it was a quick e second, only because it actually gives you armor and magic resistance when you're in that electrical surge. So you can be surprisingly tanky and able to get done in fights because they just keep trading in towers. We already had the top trades and bot trades, but the inners actually go as well. So neither, buddy, neither team bites on the other's bait, and as a result, that's a lot of gold flowing in. But you can see Vitality are actually committing to this with Cabo Shard, but Shalka around the side to dive on to Nuke Duck. In they come! He lands the chains, but the blowback oh. is there, and Nuke Duck flashes the wall! He gets away! Oh. I don't believe it! In comes Cabo Shard to save the day! Or is he the one that's gonna pay the price? It looks like it. Rollins will fall on top, though. A one for one. No flash. And I think Vitality just gonna have to concede it. Yeah, Shalk is right on it. And they do take it, but they give up Gilius. It's a one for Dragon. And Tested, so that's gonna give Vitality the turret advantage, as well as extend their gold lead, but Shalka. Yeah. For now, Steve, this is best to look tasty, but look at where the rest of Shalka are around the back of the map, and they have baited Cabo Shard in. Well, when there's a teleport, you gank it! They run right on in there. He does go golden for just a second, buying some time. But there's a quick ultimate out of Gilius. Collateral damage, and that is exactly what it is. It's going to be towers traded, but Shalka are the quicker ones. And they have also taken the life of Cabo Shard to boot. No vision on the map from Vitality. And honestly, it's one of those things where you could have said to Kazia for Steve to actually get to the back line and land that big AoE Nar ultimate to set up for his. Perfectly happy waiting this one out. Playing the Siege game. Definitely seems that way. But speaking of, the Baron is taking a whole helping of damage. It's down to 3,000 here. Chains are on, it's not gonna connect, but Vitality, they've started to peel away as the teleport's coming in. This is a 5v5 we've been waiting for. It oh comes my word! Start, exhausted, but he doesn't care, he's done his job. Steve gets a knock against the wall, but police will live to fight another day. Shook, however, may not be so lucky. Repels into the shotgun of Gilius. And it looks like it's only a matter of time before the end of the line. A one as his ultimate exhaust is down. This is a good opportunity for Vitality to try and force a play. Uh, but Schalke, they're actually the ones that are trying to engage. Yeah, Steve's on the back. That's Whoa! a massive door. In comes Fox, and oh my word! That is Vitality dropping down to zero. Schalke with a classic pincer. Take out four and look to Baron. The door's wide open here. Baron gonna be taken. No contest as Police is the only one who lives to tell the tale of an epic fight. Game-changing play. We've been talking so much about, do you want to be the team that engages or gets engaged to pop? Uh, trying to even up this series, one and one. Vitality just hoping desperately to pick themselves up. A full 2 but Cabo Shard is keen to turn it around. He goes golden after his full channel, but it's just not enough damage anymore. Having to burn Flash, and he's got nothing left in the tank. Steve, a big Gnar against the wall, and they get two just like that. It's inhibitor time with Rollez on the hunt. Finds Nuke Duck, Boomerang out, forcing Shook back, and Fox can't quite finish the job, but they're back to Fountain, licking their wounds, and Shaka are knocking on the front door. And look at those death timers. There is no way that Vitality are going to have enough to stop this push. Schalke, they're going to be able to equalize the series one to one and knock down Team Vitality. Cool, what a game. That was fun. Oh, yeah. What a series, man. All said and done, it's one to one, but these teams really showed up to play today. I don't know what they were eating for. Back what was left, going for that flank engage. Uh, it just wasn't enough, unfortunately. 2-4-2 two, and two on the cannon. Things look super promising earlier on. But I feel like we're now seeing the difference between Shook having a really good early game and Shook not really doing very much in the early game. And when you had a 7-1-8 and eight Shook in game one to a now 0-2-1 low kill game, it does seem to think that...